Welcome to Airstream of South Florida. Today I'd like to show you the 2018 Airstream Interstate. They've made some exciting changes for the 2018. First, we're gonna start around the outside here. Some of these features that I'm gonna show you were on the 17s as well, but uh, when we get to the inside, they made some really neat changes. Starting with the uh, interstate here, we have projector, high beam, and low beam headlights. There's LED light strip. Behind here is a windshield washer unit that also cleans the headlight when you uh, turn on the windshield wipers. You have fog lights, you have the Parktronic sensors, which you won't find on other brand Class B Sprinter motorhomes. Airstream puts on this really cool looking molding package, makes it a, a low profile look. It's monotone color, New for 2018, Airstream has integrated the awning with these end caps on the front and the back that make it look a lot more sleek. This is also the largest awning that you can get on a Class B motorhome. The awning also has an integrated LED light strip as well. Over here, Airstream has moved the lane change cameras to the outboard of the mirror here instead of being mounted on the pillar here. Up in the third brake light there's an integrated backup camera. You also have these large doors and they can also come all the way around for tailgating. Plenty of storage in the back and under the rear seat. In the back, you have the Parktronic rear sensors again for the rear of the coach. I've already removed the cap, but there's a, uh, a silver cap that covers this nicely. But behind it is this 5,000 pound hitch, and you can pull 5,000 pounds with this vehicle. I want to show you this cutout here. This is actually a sonar side sensor. There's another one behind the driver's door, and these sensors alert you to a car that's in the lane beside you so you know not to move over if there's a vehicle there. You have your 30 amp power connection here. And this is brand new for 2018. Years prior, there was a big metal lid here and that was your hot water heater. Well, this now has a tankless suburban hot water heater. It literally is endless hot water. Airstream also puts a little extra money in the Alcoa rim. It's not just an Alcoa aluminum rim, but they uh, take the optional Durabrite feature, which is a coating that makes these a lot easier to clean and uh, they, they won't tarnish over time like other brand Class B motorhomes. Airstream Interstate also utilizes what they call the clean dump system. This is a lot easier than crawling under the coach like on a lot of other brands. Airstream has a power retract and release hose. The knife valves that you would normally pull as a T-handle, they're electric valves and they're right here, the gray and the black. You have your Terminator waste pump switch right here and you also have a weatherproof service light switch which lights these compartments at night. Everything's very easy to, to get to and your cable TV inlet is also right here with these switches. Additionally, Airstream also gives you an outside hot and cold shower with a quick connect. The hose comes with it so you can rinse sand off at the beach or wash the dog. Moving to the inside, Airstream Interstate for 2018 has went to the multiplex wiring system, which now gives you three different locations to start and stop your generator. Also gives you a lot more control over your lighting and your cooling systems, your uh, temperature control for your air conditioning and heat. Also over here, they've uh, went 
on 2018 to a 300 watts of solar power. Let me show you this control panel here. You have a home button. You have your master light switch for all your lights inside. You can retract and extend your awning. There's a rear screen that's a power screen by the rear door that you can raise up and down from here. This will show you the inside temperature and the temperature that your air or furnace is set to. You also have all of your tank levels and LP levels right here. You can turn your water pump on. The next screen here shows your window shades, your day shades and night shades and you just select whichever one that you want and then you can select all of them or you can pick individual windows to raise and lower. Then the next menu is your lighting and it's everything from inside to your awning light to your patio light. There's underneath carriage lights at night. Uh, you have your accent lights around the top here and your galley, you can pick and just turn off and on whatever light you want, or at the top, you can shut everything off with one button. Then we go into our climate control. You have your air conditioning, your furnace, you have your ceiling vent. You can change your blower speed. You can open and close the lid, all from right here. Moving back here, uh, first, the seating. You can get a GT with just two front seats, or you can get three or four seats in the lounge like you're seeing right here, which gives you a lot more passenger ability. Have a top load microwave with a browning feature. Comes with the browning rack. Has the retractable sink faucet there. You have two burner stove. And this is a, a 12 volt Novacool uh, refrigerator system here and it's a freezer in the top this runs strictly 12 volt what's nice about that is you don't have big vents cut in the outside like all the other brands uh, this burns pretty much about the power of a 40 watt light bulb these seats here can jackknife together and the sofa comes down electrically to make into a king bed you have a power screen in the back that can come down so you could leave your doors open there for more ventilation. And there's another touchscreen control panel back here to control your lights and your shades and your generator and all that too. So you don't have to go back up to the front like on the 2017s and older. You can do all that from back here as well. Moving up to the cockpit here, I want to show you that Airstream gives you a dedicated monitor for your camera system so that uh, when your stereo or your GPS is up, you don't have to choose one or the other. You can still see around you as well as see your, your uh, navigation or your radio. Also, when we were talking earlier about the premium chassis from Mercedes. There's an electrically heated windshield that'll defrost in about 90 seconds as opposed to the other brands that just have the fan forced defrost air. You also have on the interstate uh, heated front seats, low, medium, high for both sides in the front. You've got all your Parktronic sensors and side sensor uh, switches here. So if you're pulling a boat and you want to deactivate the rear parktronic sensor so it's not screaming at you all the time you can do that you also have the uh, defrost for your mirrors um, and your lock and unlock for all your doors is right here this system here is used only by interstate this is a, a touch screen it's very apple like you have a home screen you can get into your navigation you can get into apps. It is uh, wireless uh, friendly. You also have uh, Cirrus XM. You can go into nav. There's over a million points of, uh, for RVers in here. If you need a dump station, you need a fuel station, you need a campground, everything is already programmed in. And this GPS also already knows the height length, width, and the weight of this coach, and it will avoid any bridges that are 
too low or not rated for this size coach. And one last thing that really makes the Airstream Interstate the safest Class B motorhome on the market is again, not just the dash and steering wheel airbags, but Airstream Interstate also has the side thorax and side curtain airbags. So with this coach, you have six airbags instead of just two in the front. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Derek Weekly here at Airstream of South Florida. And if you have any questions about this coach or any other Airstreams that we have, feel free to call me on my cell phone, the number listed here. And if you'd like more videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.